Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the power management tab is missing in device manager in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the check for updates button. Now Windows will try to scan for the best possible updates, install them automatically and then you can simply restart your PC for the changes to take place. You can then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to update or reinstall the problematic driver. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and let's say for example we will do the display adapters section. So double click on it and then right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now in here just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. But if this step doesn't prove too useful you can also uninstall the device driver. So right click on the problematic device and then select the uninstall device option. Now make sure to tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then simply click on the uninstall button. Afterwards restart your PC and then you'll see that Windows will automatically reinstall the driver for you. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to access the power management tab via control panel. To do this press the Windows button then simply type control and then select control panel from the search results. Now in here click on hardware and sound and afterwards select devices and printers. From here on you have to right click on the device for which you want to change the power settings and simply click on the properties option. Next go to the hardware tab and then make sure to double click on the device you want to change its properties for. Now in the device properties window click on the change settings button and lastly in here you will find the power management tab for which you can make the desired changes. Afterwards you can just close these windows, restart your PC and then wait for the changes to take place. Another useful solution is to simply modify the registry. To do this press the windows button then simply type reg edit and then select registry editor from the search results. Now in here you have to navigate to the following location, H key local machine, then double click on system, afterwards expand current control set, then double click on control and lastly scroll way down until you find the power key and double click on it. Now in here you have to find a key that's called CS enabled. But in case you don't find it, make sure to right click on an empty space on the right side of this registry editor, hover over new and select D word. Now just type in here CS enabled, then make sure to double click on this key to open it. The last thing you have to do in here in the value data, make sure to type in zero and then press on OK to save the changes. You can now restart your computer for the changes to come into full effect. And lastly another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then simply type rstrui and then select it from the search results as a run command. Now you can proceed by clicking on the next button and choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and press on next again and lastly click on finish for the restoration procedure to start. Then you can restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.